What is going on my people? You know who it is. It's that one, the only, never duplicated, Solano of Peru. To my new subscribers, welcome to that. That's to the OFAM. I'm really glad that you guys came and subscribed. If you happen to be new to this channel and you like this type of content, fragrance related, top 10 list, hearing what's hot and what's not, please hit that subscribe button. I would gladly appreciate it. If not, just hit that thumbs up button and it will show YouTube that you like this type of content. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. And today I have a very cool video for you. It was actually the idea brought by my good buddy, Joe from NYC Fragrances. I will leave down his link down in the description. And without further ado, let's go. But if you guys don't know what it is, and this one is the five fragrances that I keep reaching to. Now, when you're a collector or you're a reviewer, it's hard to have to reach the certain fragrances because you're always in review mode. But these are the ones that I do that I break that habit and just go to them. But without further ado, these are in no particular order, so anyone can be number one and anybody can be the low. But yeah, let's get on with it. At number five, we have Los Angeles' Gallivan. Now, this one, so Gallivan, on his travels around the world, was saying that this one supposedly replicate a part, replicates a part of Los Angeles. I don't know what part because from what I heard, this doesn't really smell like Los Angeles, but I could be wrong. Leave me down in the description if you guys smell this one, if you guys haven't. But let's get on with a little review on this one. So what I get from this note is this nice fruity, floral, woody, sea salt, I mean sea, yeah, sea notes vibe that you get with this one. I don't know if I would call this an aquatic, but that's what you get, some sea notes in it and pretty much that's what you get. The fruitiness is really nice. This was a nice, sweet, fresh, almost fragrance that you get that you could wear in the nice, hot summer days. The longevity is decent on it. I'm about to get about a good six, six to seven hours, which I don't really mind because you could really take this in your pocket and you could walk on about. And this is a really nice, sexy fragrance that is a unisex fragrance that you could share with your significant other if you got to just walk in there and you just want to wear something simple and a dumb reach. And this one does that for me. And number five, Los Angeles Gallivan. At number four, we have... It's so hard to pick which one's at number four by looking at these or number three because these are all good fragrances in my opinion. But here we go. At number four, we have... La Perci uh, Percival. At number four, we have... Perfumes de Marley, Selly. This one's a really nice fragrance. You get some mint, you get some ambergris, you get some woody notes, and you get this nice fresh out of the shower vibe that you get when this one supposedly, if you guys don't know, for you other, those of you that don't know, Selly was reformulated. It was supposed to be more macer macerated so it could last longer. It does last longer, my opinion. Um, from what I've smelled from the other one the other one only lasts about four hours this one lasts about seven hours plus seven hours which is not really bad it's bad and it's good at the same time but it's a freshie you can't really expect more from a freshie to last from seven hours and I really do like this one it's a non-offensive it's a people pleaser it's one that I wear when it's really really hot outside and I'm just out and about this one does it the compliments are there everything's really a solid fragrance that I get if you guys are interested, I'll leave all the links to the description where you could buy these at. And I bought this at the, perf uh, and I got this from the perfumes, the Marley area. Check it out if you guys haven't. At number five, at number four, per, uh, at number four, Sadly's perfumes, the Marley. And number three, we have Boys 1920, Boys, Boys Day, however you say it, and it is Ultra Mare, and I really do like this one. This one has two bros, it is an aquatic, it has that spiciness, really nice aquatic, floral, woody fragrance, limited edition. I don't mind that that is limited because I don't want to smell like any other person. That's just what pet peeve of mine's. I don't want to smell like anybody else. I like to smell unique and this one does the unique seven hours to eight hours plus for an aquatic is not bad it I like it really dope fragrance I'm happy this was one of the best blind buys that I bought which reminds me I'll probably do a video on that one of the best blind buys that I bought so far and this one does it and this one checks all the list compliments long projection longevity everything you need in a fragrance this one does it check it out if you guys haven't I do have a uh, this uh, travel kit that I bought for it so that would be my backup if this ever runs out but this one does the jobs 
check it out if you guys have it again boys 1920 ultramare at number three and number two we have Maskey's Milano King Sumi this one right here I fell in love with it from when I first smelled it I smelled this back at Twisted Lilies rest in peace to Twisted Lilies we went out of business if you guys don't know it was located in Brooklyn I went on a trip with my boy uh, NYC fragrances he said yo what are you doing nothing okay let's link up so we linked up on a Saturday we went had a great time met a couple people shout out to my boy my friend chris that works at bloomingdale's the fragrance expert i hope you're doing good we got to meet him and then we went to twisted lilies and we went to the event of king sumi and i really liked it i fell in love with it i couldn't wait for it the raspberry the vanilla the florals really really dope fragrance that i just fell in love with i'm not a big fan of uh, some of their other fragrances I do have uh, I'm lying I gotta do like Tango but this one is Tango for the summer if you guys haven't tried King Zumi check it out Mass Milano love it at number two at number one we have a hundred silent ways by Nissan Ace yeah I could have gone with another one from Nissan Ace from a hundred silent ways but this I could have gone with another one from from these the Nissan A line, but 100 on the ways does his job. Check his checks, compliments, seductive, really, really nice longevity projection. Everything's there. Nissan A has been pulling out those bangers, and it has been a house. I have about seven already of them, and I didn't think I was gonna have that much because I normally don't really like a lot of fragrances, but this one does a lot of fragrance houses. But this one does the job. This house does the job, and this one's a banger. What you get here, I'm telling you the notes here because they're right here. You get mandarin, tuberose, peach, white, jasmine, geranium, orris, vanilla, sandalwood, whatever. Really dope fragrance, but the main notes that I get in this one. You get the mandarin, you get the tuberose, and you get the white. And you get the peach and the vanilla. Dope fragrance, really creamy, really citrusy, vanilla fragrance. Like I said, seductive, perfect for a year. And another great thing that this one is a gourmand that is year-round. You barely find gourmands that are really year-round. And this one does it everything's there it checks off all the lists that you want in compliments with this one sometimes i don't even wear it i just leave it there and i just go to smell it and that's how much i love this fragrance this would also be another backup bottle worthy if i were to buy it but this is another one that i reached to at number one hopefully you guys like this fragrance thank you guys for watching if you guys want to chat interact with me more i will leave my instagram somewhere around here where you do ask me questions talk to me kick back a little bit and chat up there i normally go on live sometimes on instagram check me out over there and pretty much yeah what are the five fragrances that you guys reach to i would like to really be interested in that and reading there what are the ones some other ones that you guys recommend that i should check out if you guys have some in my opinion or let me know what you want me to review next what are your thoughts i need some ideas and i'm gladly take them from all of you and as always, wear what you want, buy what you want, and I will definitely see you next time. If not, it's because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace, I'm out of here. You know who it is. Then get king of this game. I'm a little kid beat.